Welcome to the great debate where we weigh the pros and cons of the iOS and Android among us. Mm -hmm. You got to choose a side, baby. In the silly fashion we are. Are you Apple scum or Android scum? Let's go. Yeah. What is the deal, beautiful people? Welcome all. Welcome back to the podcast. My name is Ramon. It's the boy, Kicks God. What's good, y'all? It's the boy Snow. All right, and uh, we got a we got a, a very special episode. Yeah, we do. A new idea that I really wanted to drive into. But before that, mm. Snow had some sort of question. Yeah, so I was uh, chilling on uh, Twitter and seeing yeah. something Twitter. that I thought was like, oh, you know what? This would be very cool, right? Mm. And this could be hard, and I didn't want to hit y'all. I, I wanted to prep y'all for it, but I didn't want to give you what the blank was. Right. Mm-hmm. So, if someone was trying to get to know you, what seven albums would you say, like, hey, take these seven albums, and that's how you get to know me? Huh. Holy, holy shit. Seven albums? Seven albums. How many albums Kanye got? Probably about eight. <laughs> shit. Never answered an easier question. <laughs> pretty fucking, pretty fucking linear. Um, well, is he? Remember, Kanye is bipolar. I guess I'm gonna go first because I know Tawan. Tawan's got the the musical depth. Yeah, man. You you really gonna get some linearity out of me? Okay. Seven albums. All right. So number one, I'm going with Twisted. Fantasy, beautiful. Fuck, fuck's the name of the album? My dark twisted. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy. I'm going with that. Mm-hmm. Number two, that's two. I'm going with Fab, Loso's way. Mm-hmm. Number mm-hmm. three, I'm going with Liquid Swords. Mm-hmm. Number four, I'm going with Bobby Digital. Mm-hmm. Number five, number five, I'm going with Dedication. It's technically a mixtape, not an album. <laughs> can I rock? You can rock. I like you rock. Work. Okay, I can rock. Um, number six, going with Jesus. Mm. Number seven, Blueprint. Mm. How did I do? I like it. it, it, it mm. I could have said some Shabba Ranks in there, but I don't remember the name Shabba, of the album. Shabba Ranks. Shabba. Yeah, that's kind of. <laughs> Cause we don't rock with albums. They like got that. singles. Yeah, we, we <laughs> do a fuck? lot of singles, and we do rhythms. Rhythms, yeah. <clears throat> Although this is my experience, that album from Bounty. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. One of my favorite. Albums. Son, live it to dangerous, to dangerous. I'd say that's one of mine. Yeah, and I got one from Beanie Man, which I just forgot. That I the doctor just yes, yeah, mm-hmm. yes. His first that was Beanie Man's first uh, mainstream album. Yep. And the doctor. I mean, even though, even though, like Ooh. reggae, reggae, reggae music yeah, or dance hall, yeah. yeah, dance hall music. Um, they say when you go, when you go mainstream. I'm sorry, I might go outside and battle somebody right now behind that. <laughs> you go back to the uh, the bodega. You can uh, you can battle the Asians in the neighborhood. <laughs> Since you <laughs> buying the smallest pack of M and M's known to man, you can go back and get some real packs while Son, you're battling. I remember that was the only size, and now it's the smallest. We're not doing this no more. Fuck this fucking thing. <laughs> so um, you need some. You need you hashtag need to, get to on a better boom mic. <laughs> nah, you need the shit coming down from the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Kind the mama's, mama the said stream. knock you out, Mike? Yeah. Kind of. Um, am I going next? No, nah, I want to hear yours last because I know you got it. Yeah, because he's, he's going to yeah, go like, really deep in. Because yeah. even, because I'll be real with you, even though I, I found the question, I immediately shut it down. I wrote it. So you had no time to think. So I had no time to think okay. about it. I shut it down because mm-hmm. so, I didn't want to, I, I wanted to be kind of sort of put on the fly like you all. You okay. Are. So. Yeah, I'm on the fly right now. So, um. What the fuck? The one that y'all probably, y'all probably questioned a few of these. Uh, and I'm going to start off with one of those out the gate. Billy Joel, The Stranger album. Didn't you just ask to play that song? No, I asked to play Big Shot from one of Billy Joel's. Oh, I actually don't know who Billy Joel is, but proceed. He's a legend. Um, the reason why I asked uh-huh. to play that, because when I went to go get these so-called small M&Ms, 
it was playing in the store, and I was like, oh, I haven't heard that in a long time, so let me let me hear it when I get back. So, I almost asked you if him and Bruce Springsteen were cousins or some shit. They might That's how be. ignorant they're, I am to that genre. They're Sony cousins. Okay. Um. So, <laughs> so Billy Joel, okay. Stranger album. One. Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers. Mm. Yeah. Two. Slam. I mean, uh, sorry. The Onyx, Onyx album. album. That's three. The first back, Onyx back, album. Back, back the back fuck to, up. Yep. Uh, after that, I would probably have to say it's definitely a Jay-Z album. Let me come back to that. Okay. Uh, Ready to Die. Ready to Die. Ready to Die. Oh, big. Yeah. He, he took mine. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Then. Ain't no big on my list. <laughs> clearly. Um, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you, son. Mary J. Blige was the four one one. Interact. I've never heard that album. So you I've heard you singles from the album. Yeah. I mean, if you've heard singles, then you've heard the album. <laughs> Yo, that's back when the whole album was the singles on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. So I said seven, but I didn't give the name for Jay. I mean, I said six because yeah. I didn't give the name for Jay Z. But let me. If I had to, if I had to say, I almost want to put eight away and heartbreaks there. Because huh. when it came out, I didn't have nothing going on for that, and then it got me later. Mm-hmm. But I was already in love with the album. But like, okay, it didn't mean nothing to me until until later. So it I, didn't hit you till it hit you, baby. Right. And I'm the one. I was one of the ones. Like everybody hates this album, and I'm championing for it. Mind you, nothing's going wrong with my life <laughs> in terms of that perspective. It was you know just so different, and refreshing. Which album? But was I understood. Eight oh eight. Yeah. Coldest winter and all that. That's the first emo album ever. <laughs> you you know what? That is a very good point. Yeah. There's more emo albums than that. You because you, you can't first, categorize R and B as emo, right? Because it's expected. Yeah. But yeah. from a rapper? From a from rapper. That, yeah, that, I don't know. I think L. Cool J is the first emo no, rapper. No, no he, he said album. Album. Emo the, yeah. album. The whole that, album was that whole album. album was emo. Emo started yeah. with 808s and Heartbreaks. I don't and people know. were like, People Where's are, Renee is kind of who Mr. Cheeks and Renee. That was a song. Yeah, but see, like, yes, listen, it wasn't an entire album. It was, it was Correct. Yeah, I'm and, a Lost Boys fan. Yeah, and you can't like you can take a you can take a rapper, any rapper, and he can make a love song. Like sure, LL Cool J. Or Twenty one questions. You could take a rapper, right? Or you could take a an artist, mm-hmm. and he can put together an emo album mm-hmm. where everything is down. Everything, every song, eight oh eight and heartbreaks is the first our introduction into emo when people were like, "What the fuck is this garbage?" And now it's through the roof. No, that's the he, yeah, it's a generation he spawned after that shit. Yep, and all of them because that spawned Kid Cudi. Yeah, all of them. And then Kid Cudi, Tory Lanez, and all of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and to even Tory Lanez is like a uh the rapper that or the singer that raps. About love songs. Trey songs or Tory Lanez? Quick, pick one. Trey songs. Mm, agree. I'm gonna um back out of the Jay Z one. Wow. And I'm gonna put. <laughs> wow, son. <laughs> I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put Tribe Called Quest. Come on, man. And I'm gonna put um for Tribe Called Quest is the Low End Theory. I never heard it. <clears throat> you heard it. You've heard it. It probably should be Midnight Marauders, but I'm gonna go with um Low End Theory. Now the other, the seventh album, the actual seventh album, is a dude named Sixto Rodriguez. And um, the Sugar Man album. I I haven't heard that. That's one. I one. sent it to you one. T- I sent it to you one time, and I told you like, fam, because I, I I worked on the the project. I'm like, yo, fam. Son, that's cheating. This dude. That's how I found out. That's how I found the song. Did you send that's it to me in the album. Kanye era? When Kanye didn't have an era. When it comes to you. You're right. Because I might have just like glanced over. It was like I'm not trying to hear this. The dude said I lost my <laughs> job two weeks before Christmas. My mom was talking about Yeah. <laughs> yes. I was, I was, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Got it. So. Okay. If, if I had to say seven about me, because I, I got to I got to remove Jay Z out because technically between thou shalt not remove Jay Z out B- between between Onyx and Biggie, that quantifies everything that the Jay Z part was going to do for it. Although that would be the luxury drug dealer stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Which is. I don't care for none of that stuff, but it's a it's a it's a time, it's a movement for me. It's a period piece. It's a period piece, right? And the reason why I don't want to put the 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 Midnight Marauders in 
because the Wu-Tang fills that year. To me, that's the year that it was over for all that. Right, but Low in Theory came out before um, uh, Wu-Tang. So if for, for Low in Theory, like when that, you but, think... That, but that's what I'm saying. I didn't want to put the other one because they dropped on the same day. What, Low in Theory and... No, the the um the one with... um with Wu-Tang and... The Midnight Marauders. Right, Midnight Marauders Dropped the same out. as the same day as Wu Tang Thirty Six Chambers. Yeah, and at that time, now it was dope. But at that time, son, that they should have never dropped at the same time, at the same date. That was it for them. You know what I mean? And yeah. I don't mean like as artists, like that was it for that style of music. Cause yeah, everybody just went. It, it yeah, it went from it we went were having from, fun. It went from uh, peace signs and and daisies to so, grit to so hoodies. Because at, at one point they was they was kind of side by side. Yeah, I feel like when that happened, there was that's it. All the polka dots and everything else that was kid and play. Everybody, all the Kwame, all the Kwame's, all shit. The Kwame's like all that was done at that point. You Fuck know what Kwame mean? and them damn polka dots. <laughs> Who rocked the spot, Biggie? So that's where the Onyx you know and the Biggie feels unbelievable. So I had to do that, and the Sugar Man thing. Biggie's like, overrated. When I caught on to that, we're Someone ignoring you. When I caught on to that, I was just like, that's what it is. And then the the Billy Joel thing is like. I think I had this conversation with you before. I had my well, one of my jobs. I was tasked with marrying all his music to to certain albums to the anniversary out edition of the album, and I'm doing it. I'm like, oh, I didn't know he sung this song. Oh, I didn't know he sung that song. Billy Joel did Uptown Girl. Yeah, dope song. Which is the like I still listen to that. Oh, record. is that the Uptown Girl? Yeah, it's better son. than Biggie. <laughs> son, you watch your fucking mouth. Son. And then I'm like, I'm listening to all these things, and I'm putting it. I'm assigning this is just album. And I'm like, fam, I love every song that I, I didn't even know he sung these half these mm. more than half these songs. Yeah. And I love every song on this album. Therefore, I love this album. Mm. Right, makes sense. Boom, there you go. Where's he from, Billy Joe? I believe he's from here. Yes, let's, he's let's from hear. he's from New York. I was, I was, let's start a more place. So like Long Island, maybe. I want I want to say he's either either from you're Long from Brooklyn Island. or you from nowhere. Brooklyn nah, or Long Island. Yeah, he's either from Long Island or Staten Island. Mm, okay. All right. So, so those are those are my seven. Come through Taiwan, son. You sound like my neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> come come through Taiwan, <laughs> son. Wait, wait, what's number? Just hit me off, man. Where, where you at? Um, I right, so we gonna set it off. No pun intended. <laughs> Um, B- uh, Big Daddy Kane. Mm. Mm. That's I need somebody to keep count. So what's the name of the album? One. That's the I believe it's called the Wrath of Kane. Mm-hmm. All right, one. Um, uh, Slick Rick Greatest Adventures. Mm-hmm. Two. Jay Z Reasonable Doubt. <sighs> Finally, a man with sense. Three, sir. Says the man with no Jay Z on his album. I had hope. Yeah, I think he had he had all he had um, I had blueprint blueprint. Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, you you had number four, huh? Um, you had no biggie though. So tribe called quest. Uh, uh people's extinct. You tribe. and your brother are huge fans of tribe. Son, son, tribe is a movement. Fam. Tribe is a movement. I met. I wasn't in the country, so I right. I completely missed and, out. Uh, when did out you to, come to shout the, out the public enemy? Ninety six, maybe. Ninety six, ninety six. Or ninety five, six. No, he was. I was in oh, the sixth yeah, grade. Nah, yeah, nah, when yeah. I came, I was in the sixth grade. Okay. Now you make you just missed it. But that's yeah. what I'm talking about. When because he he got Wu Tang though. Yeah, he was here for. He the got thirty six chambers. What, you though. think I was missing RZA? No, on, son. He wasn't here, yo. But he he wasn't here for that. Wu-Tang. He wasn't here for the Wu Tang. I think right. when I came when I came, him. Liquid Swords had just came out. Right, but, but what yeah. I'm saying is that album found him. Yeah, that's what I mean. And when when they Biggie dropped at the same time, trash. shut up, son, shut up. When that dropped. <laughs> Son, that was a huge deal, fam. Like that's yeah. a huge deal. And who the Marauders or Thirty Six Chambers? The Marauders, son. Okay. Like and Midnight that, Marauders, and was, that, that was album right there. Is fire. I say it came out in ninety four, ninety five. Whatever year that the what's name dropped, it was the same year. Yeah. Can we revisit offline? I want to hear a piece of what y'all talking about. Okay, okay. cool. This the sound is way. The sound is. It's not. Doesn't sound dated. Is it nineties? Nineties? It's, it's Midnight Marauders. You talking about? It, yeah. I, I, it's eighty eight to ninety four. I wouldn't even say that. You wouldn't say that? I wouldn't say that. I would say it's nine it's ninety four, ninety five to two thousand two. Oh, I, I disagree. Mm. You know what? Offline, let's listen to it and then yeah. we'll, we'll, right. we'll revisit that. So you at number four. I'm at number four. What was my last one? Uh uh Tribe. Tribe. So uh uh Tribe, Slick Rick, 
Mm-hmm. Big, Big Daddy, Daddy Kane. Kane. Mm-hmm. I'm at three. No, you're at four. You're at four. It's your fourth one right now. What's the? What was one of the others? You just you just oh, said Jay Z, Jay Z, reasonable reasonable doubt. doubt right? okay, okay, so yeah, five. Um, I want to say Michael Jackson Thriller. Mm. Mm. I should have said oh, mm. that's five. Mm. See, that's how interesting because now I'm sitting here like, how did I leave off the bad album? But go ahead. Yeah. Um. And I'm I'm a spam. I'm explain why I said Michael Jackson Thriller okay. when I name you all of them. Um, Drake, Take Care. I understand that. Mm. Maybe ten for me. Yeah, mm. yeah. And I would say he ain't got no biggie neither. He I'd say biggie. Yeah, you ain't got to get the <laughs> fuck out of here. You ain't got no biggie. Yeah. <laughs> I say Biggie. You ain't had no Biggie. I say Biggie. Originally. Biggie life after death. Fuck you. You I ain't had biggie no life Biggie. After death. Life Thank after you. death. Thank you. Sir. You did not have Biggie. Yeah, I did. He said it because I yeah, said it. Look at the he fuck out, out of here. Of get off yeah. my lord. Yeah, nah, I is. said get off of my lord. I was going to say. I was going to say. Um. Uh. Life after. Life after death. I'm not life after death. Ready to die. Mm-hmm. But I had to think about. I had to think about um, life after death, it where it sat with me. Because I'm going to tell you, a lot of people, and this is general consensus, don't feel like Biggie's first album is as strong as Biggie's second album. Is that because the second album had the drama around it? I'd say it's it could be. It could be. Because, for, so, the other perspective I have on this is, I think... I think that an, an artist's best work is the most impactful. Yeah. And I think Biggie's first album was the true shock. Yes. Like, who is this and what is this? Right. Just like Wu-Tang. Right. And everything else to follow, sure, is fan, you know. Right. But I, I, I feel like the the, the first time you, you, you slap somebody in the face is often what they'll remember. Right. And I feel like pe- people got their first slap of Biggie on Life After Death. Hmm. And so you don't think Ready to Die was that strong? I, I, no, I, that's not to take away from Ready to Die. Mm-hmm. Um, it, yes, Ready to Die was that strong. Um, I'm thinking about what was. See, I'm. I equate a really solid album. It's 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 seventy percent the artist mm-hmm. and twenty percent what's going on in my life. Right. In ten percent society, okay. So I could vibe with that, you know. Like, so you was crying when Enya came on after nine eleven. No, I <laughs> guess I she was. Son. I didn't listen to Enya. You That's couldn't enough. avoid it. There was no way to get around. Enya. As the plane you was going through the building, you you probably didn't know. You probably didn't know. Oh, uh, you know, based on what you just said with that, I would change those numbers around. Then maybe a couple of categories. For me, I would say it's forty percent the artist, twenty percent the production, and yeah. that, that remainder is you a puff fan. That's why with me included, nah, I'm, I get into that. With me included, the time, which means what's going on in society and what's going on with me. Mm. That's where my albums. Got that's that's why eight oh eight was so strong with you. And I mean, when I wasn't even going through anything. I mean, <laughs> but you know what? I could just a side- my friends were. Sidebar, mm-hmm. I could, I could say eight, not eight away to heartbreaks, but um, what's the other one? Um, the one I just Dark listened Twist to with fantasy. No, um, the one that Pablo. I originally didn't like. Oh, Pablo. No, the one. Before. Jesus, Jesus. You didn't originally like Jesus. I didn't know that. Remember the first, right, like the like first two songs. I was like, what the fuck? Jesus is a slow burn for me. Mm-hmm. Was a slow burn mm-hmm. for me. So, in. I understand when a person puts Yeezus on and it's not, it does not meet their expectations. Sure. And I feel like Kanye West above any other artist in America, like any other recording artist has the ability to subvert uh, your expectation. Yeah. And it makes you feel like, all right, I know, I know I'm going to like this Kanye West album because it's Kanye West. Michael Jackson did. 
But you know what? Michael, J- not, I wouldn't necessarily say that. I think so. A Michael Jackson album was a Michael Jackson album. What you got from Michael Jackson, uh, the sound evolved, but it was still Michael Jackson. Uh, Point taken. Uh, Kanye West. Point taken. His direction. He's almost different from every two albums. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. it was every two albums, and really, right now, I think we're literally at every one album. And the first, different. the first three Kanye West albums were the same. After that, bye. Everything else changed. After 808s and Heartbreaks, everything else changed. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy is not 808. As is not 808. However, one can say that my beautiful dark twisted fantasy and Pablo is very closer, very much closer I in can similarity, see that. but there are still, still different. different. It's still different. I can see that. And Pablo and Jesus is nowhere near. Like, you remember we had that conversation in front of our hair of the dog. Mm. What's the best Kanye West album mm. to you? Damn, everyone, every single person in that conversation had a different answer. Right. And I would say, and everyone argued their points perfectly. Yeah. But which no, puts his numbers in play, right? But no one, no one said college dropout, graduation, yeah, or the last one with him flying out of the, the fucking college dropout, late registration, and um, and graduation. I don't get it why people are like oh the old Yeezus. Like I didn't, I didn't do it for me. I mean, the old Yeezus is fine. The new Yeezus, <laughs> the new Yeezy is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like people want the old Jay Z. I don't want the the new Jay Z. I want the old Jay Z. I don't want the old Kanye. I want the new Kanye. I'm starting to let go of Hov, son. I take whatever. To me, I take whatever Hov is doing right now. That's why I'm starting to let go of Hov because now you got to start piecemealing what you get. Well, my thing is with hip hop is like you see, we just brought up Billy Joel, right? Right. He can drop an album today. And because of the culture that he's in, he's not going to be capped. With us, rap is a rap. It's a gladiator sport. Sure. It's a young thing. How many like, Rolexes you got, son? It's a young like, man's game. They don't, let, they don't let our rappers age. This dude, um, Willie Nelson and, and the godfather, Tony Bennett, mm-hmm. still dropping albums. Right. So and, Tony, and, and don't Tony nobody... Was- Tony Bennett is old as fuck, son. Fam, and he's still dropping hits. And it's like, and so is Willie Nelson. And it's like, they don't get put into that kind of BS. Rock stars don't get put into yeah. that. But w- when it comes to hip hop, like, oh, Jay-Z, you somebody's grandfather now. Like, no, he's not, number one. Number two, so what? <laughs> like, my dad still listens to rap. Yeah. Why can't his artists, his, his, you know, my dad's R&B artists still make albums, and he still listens to them. So why he can't listen to his rap? To his rap artist. Solange is trash. Son, you gotta How'd watch your mouth. You gotta watch your mouth. You said R&B. Son. You gotta, you gotta watch you your better, mouth about that. You better stay out of elevators. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Son. You scared. Watch your mouth about that. Now, if I ever get an elevator with Solange or Texan Ray Rice, you'll come through. We got smoke. <laughs> Counter. <laughs> the, the prairie system. The seventh floor. Yeah, man. So, my, my great... My great idea for these this episode was a debate because we know that Tawan is such a big iOS mm-hmm. fanboy and it has been for years. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, what we're going to do today, you don't know, what we're is talking make about. him debate on the behalf of Android. Sir, pass me my regular size M and M's, please. Son, while I debate on the behalf of iOS, which to the astute among you, thank you may know that I fucking loathe Apple. Son, you have a 15-inch iPad right in front of no, you. thank you, sir. What are you talking about? You have Son, a- there's a camera rolling. People can see no such thing. Okay. This Ooh. is hearsay. And not only is this slander, I am appalled. Tawan's the iOS fanboy. No, I'm not, but yeah. And I've, I've settled upon Android because the fuck else am I going to go? Not Windows Phone. Because of people like Snow, I don't have a Windows Phone. That's right. So... Today's objective is to flip the script. Blackberry, you keep fucking with me. I, you know, I had no beef for Blackberry. I had no beef for Blackberry. Was a single man's game. You would get a woman's BBM before she gave you her number, but you still got the BBM. I'm gonna sound old. That's you, young people, have no idea what we was dealing with. You think iPhones is the cheetah's paradise for cheating women? Nope. 
Blackberry. Shit. Blackberry so was it. You have no idea. Shit. So I bring back the Blackberry world. Now, we're flipping the script. So Tawan's going to be defending Android. I'm going to be defending iOS. And let me preface this by stating... I what are you stating, sir? I always defended Android Here we go. Here we go. Here and we Samsung. Go. Here we go. Here and we go. Listen, and the footage is on our YouTube channel. We don't even I, have a YouTube channel. Yeah, yes, we do. I want <laughs> yes, you, we do. I want you to remember something. That same fairy tale YouTube channel that you're talking about is also footage of you bigging up Apple. All day. I, I have never bigged up Apple. All day, sir. You never bigged up Apple computers. I'm going to put together a super you, cuts of you. You bigged up Apple phone. I want to see this. And at the same time, I want you to I want you to super cut you tearing into uh, Android. There's when, no such thing, sir. When 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 but when you were pr- when you were on your Windows phone high horse, it was a very high horse. I'm glad that you were uh, tearing into son. That's something fine. like a Pegasus. That's I, fine. I hold up. I had I had a Samsung 5 Tearing into it, I had a with Galaxy S five tearing into it a white one. Then I went no, I went to a, from a, to I went from a blue one in a four. Then I went to the white one in a five. All that shit was trash. Then I went to a LG. Slag. Still trash. That's slag. Okay, so so you so, know what? So let's get into it. Yeah, into absolutely. It, yeah. What is your number? Why is iOS better than Android, sir? I'm sorry. Why is Android better than iOS? Why is Android better than iOS? Because false. It, it's <laughs> <laughs> it's first of all customization. Uh, uh, Android mm-hmm. allows a um, Android allows a user mm-hmm. to uh, do what they want when they want to. Mm-hmm. iOS, you literally have to break that phone, sir, in order to make it work. Okay. I don't need to lace my shoes up fifty different ways. Yes, you do. As long as they're done properly and I can walk. Customization only exists because motherfuckers just couldn't get it right. So they left it up to the user to try to get it right. Okay. That's so, laziness. So iOS hmm. is now trying to get it right by adding widgets where widgets was already in existence with Android. Widgets is not a part of customization. Widgets is a feature. Okay. That they've now adopted having since... Since is it a crime it to popular. adopt a feature, my guy? No, son, it's a crime to steal. One could argue and that though, is what they are stealing. One That's- could argue though that the widget is a part of customization when you're trying to outline. Look at this fucking referee. This Mike I'm Tyson referee, referee over I gotta, here. Nah, I gotta, son. I gotta, yo, the punch was below the belt, fam. Like I'm trying to get this shit even. The flag on the play, b. So flag on the one play. could say that it is both. Mm-hmm. So from his standpoint, you know, we good. So let, let's continue. Speak on. All right, so where, if where, you where do it at? right, you don't need the user to customize it. How many different ways would you like to customize a blue bubble? Says the person. Says the person that is is uh, uh, jailbreaking their phone. Mm. Nah, fam, I haven't jailbroken a phone in quite some time, son. I, because it, the process is so tedious that in 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 the moment you do one step wrong. Brick phone, goodbye. I that's mean, that's it. that's no different than rooting an Android phone. Yeah, but I've un I've unbricked my Android phone. You can't unbrick an iPhone. Nah, you can't unbrick a phone. Once a phone is brick, it's brick. Son, I was staring at uh, uh what was I staring at when I I was you jam- might have fucked up the bootloader, but you didn't brick it. Yeah, but that's what a bootloader is for. Nah, bricking means this motherfucker just does nothing from here on out. Honestly, my shit did nothing. I had to I had to go on YouTube to figure out. By the way, another Google product, hence Android. Um, I had to go on Google on YouTube to find out how to correct the issue because my shit wasn't doing anything. You're talking about your Android phone. The Android phone. This I had is my to, point. The, uh, the, because out of the box, Android phones does nothing. Yes, so it's technically a brick. I agree. I mean, and, and it's as can, useful as a brick. Can we not argue that iOS is is just as bricky no, out the box? One has i one has iMessage. Son, one has iTunes and the, multiple tunes. So the purpose you know? of iMessage is what? Just not a blue bubble. And that's is it a blue bubble or green bubble? It's a blue bubble. You're supposed to know. You know what I'm saying? As <laughs> long as you don't show up with a green bubble, that's the purpose of life, baby. What's the green bubble? Android? Yes. A non, a it's, non for, iPhone it's for peasants. Either? It's for motherfuckers <laughs> the green, that are not included the, in the rest of society. What does it say? Peasant shields. Peasant shield. What, what's a peasant? 
peasant shield. Remember the dude in the when we was looking at the vehicles. The, the oh the, yes, the, yeah, the he kept dude. saying the yeah, peasant, peasant shield, shield for the yeah. yeah. Son, a green bubble is a text message, and a blue bubble is a it's I a God is message. I message. God message. Yeah, right. <laughs> I you understand. I see why you only have a blue bubble and everybody else is texting. You want another color bubble? Use WhatsApp. All right, so hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back somewhere else iPhone when it comes to hardware versus Mm -hmm. Android when it comes to hardware. Tawan, you started first, so Ramon, you take this one. There's no... Why is this even a point? Have you seen iPhones? The pinnacle of design. And not only are they the pinnacle of design, Mm -hmm. they are introduced with an English guy (laughs) on an all-white background of a video. And I've rubbed my cock on the back side of the camera <laughs> so you can take better pictures for Snapchat. <laughs> Son, that's it, fam. I'm done here. This is all you need. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. That's 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 all I need. Listen. Hardware choices for everyone. All I'm going to say is Samsung S20. Game over. I have nothing more to say. So they just got here, fam. And not Samsung only Samsung S twenty. Not only did I, Samsung, Samsung just got here. Samsung, what the the ten? The benchmarks. The, nine, the benchmarks eight. show that what they're still not as fast. What phone are you using, Snow? And Samsung. And Samsung, what eight? This is nine. look at the this nine. Mike Tyson referee ass shit right here. I'm just it. asking. I'm just asking. It was just a question. You can't pull the referee into the shit. <laughs> but I'm aware that the referee uses an Android phone. <laughs> wow, son. So you are wow. looking like the minority in here. <laughs> wow, son. I listen. What's you, your Blackberry you not, playbook? You not going. You not going to even correct that, huh? I can't correct it. It's an observation, wow, son. That's an observation, bro. Your motherfucker's here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I get that again, I get that Android has the uh the more options when it comes to hardware. Mm-hmm. What's that? Hundred megapixel? There's something for everyone in Android. But the, the point remains mm. if you just do it once and do it right, no one will give a fuck about everything else. Yeah, they got it right this time. So less is more for you. Yes, less is more. And so. that's the quality. Yeah. So would you say that the hardware being only coming from one person is more so quality control. It's a strength. You control the hardware, you control the software, you control the experience. Across the board. Across the board. So then in a perfect world, you would just uh, stick with iPhone and not have to go and buy a, the newest Samsung device. No, sir. Life is about mono. Stereo is overrated. 5.1, 7.1, no. You need you need one artist you listen to, which is Kanye. Everyone here should listen to Kanye. You need one phone, iOS. You need one woman, marry her. You need one car. I don't need need Toyota. You need Toyota. I need need more than one car. You know what I mean? Like just just one, fam. We don't need all of this. This is how people get into the world today. Everyone's single and no one knows who to marry who because it's too much. You go down the corner, there's a woman to your left, you go down the corner, there's a woman to your right, and there's one coming towards you. Which one do you really? I, I don't know. The so one you that's don't. Behind me. You don't connect. See, but she's back there for a reason because she's a fuck girl. She had an Android phone, so we don't fuck with her. <laughs> she was a green bubble. You understand? Hey, I. She we, was sending pictures that was grainy. Like why you? Why you sending me low quality pictures? I can't. Listen, did man. you shave though? Listen, I don't know. Man. All right, so hold on, because that now opens the door to hardware for Android. I mean, she's as trash. I stated. S S twenty, but they're not the only ones that make an Android phone. I you you damn skippy. LG is king is it has, has been has been pushing boundaries. You can't name the name of an LG H, phone. The LG uh, you G five. almost said HTC just now. I was going to say HTC, uh, which which started which started the all metal phones, which started uh uh uh. The, the, unibody gl- the glamour, shit. unibody, the 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 form factors. False. Yeah, yeah. False. What did I? What did I? Apple. What did an iPhone look like prior to? Uh, 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 glass on glass, baby. Glass on glass with a metal band. Son, it was. And all, be careful it, how you hold it. It was metal. But it, it was. That's the four. The four. The four. That's the four. Right? That's the four. Four. First of all, it was. It was. It was small as shit. I Everything argued, was small. That's, I that's argued, fucked up, son. I argued you down prior to this one fact. 
I said bigger screens are better screens. I don't remember that conversation. You said no, not really. I don't remember that conversation. Yeah, I know you don't remember that conversation. However, I do. I said bigger screens are better. You went with that small ass iOS device. Like, I, you know what we call that now? A bitch phone. Because if I see anybody in the street with a four or less, you a bitch. Son, you a bitch. You not- my man's at my job had a bitch phone. And I told him, I said, yo, my man. But he had a blue bubble. But you got a bitch phone. Can you? You it's can't even good. see. It looks like a blue line. It's all good. Baby. It looks like a blue line. It's all all right. good. So you're about less is more, controlled by one message, sir. Yes. And you're about freedom, power to the people. Whoever got the best design, you fuck the people. Damn right. That fuck also sounds people. like the Mac and the PC situation as well, which that can go any way. Now, sure can. this also varies with price points. So, Tuan, you go first. Price points. Hey, listen, man. We follow. We follow in suit. Them dumbass of Apple motherfuckers set a phone at twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars. At least we're getting we're getting out new product. Like the fucking so you're paying for. Uh, you're paying thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars for the same Apple phone. Uh-huh. I am paying thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars even more for a better device. False. You're paying fourteen hundred dollars for no blue bubbles. Son, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. So, but what about entry points? Because of the price points. So, like, you have multiple levels, right? Yes, you do. The entry point for Android phones usually fifty dollars. Give it. Which explains the grainy pictures. Yep. If you want, if you want the best, buy the best. So, if you want the, uh, if you want grainy pictures, go on over there and buy that, uh, that <clears throat> that middle. Middle low tier Android device. I mean, yeah, you you won't. So you, so what you're saying is everybody has a price point to buy in. They don't have to always go with that twelve thousand dollar phone. Well, what I'm saying is, if you're not going to buy a Samsung S20 for your five year old, so hence the grainy picture that'll be a, a a thing for kids between five and thirteen. <sighs> 13 to 18 you might get a middle of the uh, a middle of the road android device i actually have a low end or middle of the road android device uh, maybe i'll pull it out 20 dollars says it has no battery it's charge. inside that bag and yes it doesn't have a battery yeah charge it's sitting in there because it was sitting in my car doing nothing as most android phones and devices often do so okay now, so so now for you yes sir price point with the ios the is price point is on point, baby. Hey, look, this is premium shit. Is Ferraris or Porsche? Ah, yo, yo, Spend it's premium shit. You want a Hyundai? Then buy two models ago iPhone because we still got that for you. You mm-hmm. understand? Oh yeah. Since- and two models ago, iPhone eight is still way better than anything Sony is making, or them OnePlus bullshit is making. I I beg to differ. Because anything less than what is that? An iPhone? Anything iPhone seven and less? Uh, they just got hit with the lawsuit for degrading their operating system and degrading their U devices. Uh, so, uh, nah, uh, they were throttling. Listen, it was throttling. And, and son. Degrading, throttling. In degrading. order to make your battery last longer, we slow down the use of the process. Son, son, I read the report. It was more than just throttling. Son, it, son, it was protecting the consumer from themselves. Son, how can you protect me from me? If because I, you I'm motherfuckers be wilding. You be wilding, son. <laughs> son. You got to make this decision on a half of five, people who be wilding. $500 million lawsuit. We got that. We got that. First okay, off, yeah, first, you got first that. Off, who 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 got that money though? Whoever can prove that they had an iPhone back then, which is a lot of people. So everyone ends up getting a check for four dollars. Uh, I think Pretty it's 25, 25 or fifty, twenty five or fifty dollars. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I mean, listen, man, y'all can't stop the lawsuits from coming. Yeah, we but, can't either. But fam, it's he, a lot less. Even though, even though Apple throttled the batteries, I'm sorry, throttled the processor. They throttled to sort of get around the battery issue iPhones were still lasting longer than Android phones with bigger batteries. I don't know. This man has a, a nine. Yeah. So I'm listen. I'm trying to. I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand your point, son. For, you, you know what? At the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, an iPhone is worth the price, 
And if it's too pricey, then buy a generation or two back. Well, at and the, that'll be better than any Android phone you can buy currently on the market. At the end of the day, uh-huh. you'll probably be sitting exactly where I am with a dead battery not working. Oh, All right, so I want to go to the next thing because this is something that I know on one side is just getting there. So this is a good, a good thing. So services integration from one OS to the next or one phone to the next, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I think you just had the last one, so I'm going to drop this on your lap, Ramon. Son, there's no... It all works, baby. It all works. You just sign in with your iTunes account. You're talking about when you get a new phone. The whole the whole experience. Of course. you, Son, first of all, you go to the... You got to wake up. Mm-hmm. You can brush your teeth or not. It's up to you because you're, you're an Apple person, so... And you're, 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 Android people don't brush their teeth. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? You can do what you want to do. Onward. So you, you go into the Apple store, <laughs> and you... You got your stink breath when you're talking to this genius. Like, mm-hmm. yo, what's up, fam? And Who? They gotta, and they got to keep a straight face. Yeah, you got to keep a straight face. Like, what's yeah, up, fam? Because they got stink breath and they're not geniuses. And they're like, yo, how can I help you, sir? I'm just, yo, I'm here for that new eye sauce. And he says, all right, cool. You know what I mean? He says, sir, sir, have a seat, please. Have a seat at this this 10-inch thick American oak table <laughs> supporting the environment. <laughs> right. Right? And while I'm sitting here waiting for him to go get my eye sauce, I'm playing with the new eye sauce. Like boom, here's the camera. You're taking a picture of the you know the, the people across from you and what all this, all this shit's just working. And he comes back and he's like, "Hey, you go. How you paying? Cash, my man. Uh-huh. Paying cash, fam. Mm. That's how I that's how I people do it. Oh yeah. And then he sits here with me, and he transfers all my shit. How does he do it? He logs in with the iTunes. He backs up this. He connects that. He restores that. I don't gotta do nothing. Twenty minutes, I'm out of there. And that's not only me. My mom can come. Same thing. My dad can go. Same thing. Brother, sister, aunt. Everybody goes. Same process. It works. There's none of this going in AT&T. Yo, let me get that new um, LG, whatever the fuck number they're at these days. Mm-hmm. And then you get home and you're like, shit. What is my Google password? No soup for you. No contacts, mm-hmm. no fucking, no background picture restoral, no green messages, no nothing. We don't have these issues here in iOS world, son. It just, it just works. Okay. His well, argument, it just works. Well, if it just worked, there would be no need for a genius bar, but uh, I'll digress. Wow, son. Wow. So, oh, wow. Um, Gmail, sir. Uh-huh. I arrest my case. Gmail. Everything is backed up to a Gmail account. T G at seven six at Gmail. How much you pay for that? Nothing. That's why they know everything about you. Okay. And you think that iOS doesn't know everything about you? No, Selling it off to uh, the, 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 the highest bidder? I pay for that. So hopefully they don't have to charge for that. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, they got to charge for that. No. Sorry. Like, son. Son, experience is owned by Apple, son. Listen, and, and, and everybody is, is, is aware of Steve Jobs and his experiences. Yo. Listen, own your kids, first of all. That's what I said. Wow, son. You, you know, kids. you know what? Own your what kids. What did the baby say? Yo, you ain't had to bring the kids into this. That's <laughs> a low blow. Damn, bro. You ain't had to bring that's the kids blow, into bro. this. Yeah, well, you know, listen. Yeah, let's let's keep sorry. it in the hallway, fam. That's all fair. That's flag like, on the play? Flag on the play. Like, yeah. I got to hit you with one, son. I got to hit I'm you with one. I'm just saying. Are there any more points to be had here? For the, uh, for the iOS. For, I mean, for the, sorry, for the OS services on this. Uh, I mean, listen. Android's a mess. That's, that's it. Android, listen, Android is a mess if you allow it to be a mess. It can be a mess for the untrained, but... Son, even... Have you ever seen an AT&T? And I know because I'm a fucking loser, so I do these things. <laughs> I'll just go on an AT&T store and just walk around. Can I help you? Get the fuck away from me. Because they can't but I, I'll you. go in the corner and just, like, watch what they're doing. Right. Have you ever seen these motherfuckers try to, like, transfer someone's shit from, like, a Samsung to an LG or vice versa? Like, it's all wildly different. Yeah, and I, I I will say this: the process, the process now, and I this is a firsthand uh, uh, observation. So, everything now due to NFC, 
with iOS is transferred uh, wirelessly. But that process takes years. Fam. Years. It took it took one couple an hour just to transfer two separate devices. They were buying the same device. They were coming from the same device. It took and one had to had the nerve to take longer to transfer than the other. That's 30 minutes a pop, man. That's not bad. L- listen, no, it's more like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes for one. The d- the gentlemen, the dudes, the dudes uh, took about 15 minutes. Her shit took about 45 minutes. Why was she? She had a bunch she, of selfies on it probably. She should have went no, to the Apple store. That's her she fault. She didn't. She didn't. Should have went to the Apple store, fam. Son. If, why why do I have to uh, 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 be threatened with a parking ticket uh, uh, just to go to the Apple store? You shouldn't be driving. It's bad for the environment. Okay. Well, I'm... It, 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 <laughs> Pause. Let's go to the next one, man. <laughs> so, we're going to go back to the hardware for a second, right? Android does have foldable displays. Mm. iPhones have... Foldable well, displays. So... Y'all gonna hold this L. So, <laughs> you did the last one. This one's on you. Listen, man. Monkey see, monkey do. Okay. What are you, you accusing Apple of coming with a foldable fold? Son, I, I last I checked, Samsung was right on the cusp of relief releasing a foldable device. They did. Two they of them. Co- they corrected an issue. An and issue is that what you would call it. They correct. They corrected an issue, <laughs> made it better, made it better, oh, and shit. now we back, baby. Okay, we back. You gonna hold and, this calligraphy out? And and, and 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 what happened? And what? Hold up. And what happened? Here comes iOS. God damn it! They beat us to it. Oh, but they kind of messed up. So let let me fix where they messed up because the iPhone was walking out the gate with L's. <clears throat> Sir. Here we go. Sir, we have reached a point in time where I expect certain things from my device. I expect waterproof shit because I have to I have to watch YouTube videos in the shower. Like there's no other way to go about this. You know you can do that with uh, Android. I, I'm on I'm on vacation. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I got to have my phone in the pool with me. Like, son, there's no way around these things. So here comes these foldable phones. Mm-hmm. No form of waterproofing. Mm-hmm. Not only do they not have waterproofing, they don't even have fucking dust proofing. <laughs> so uh, you, you, you get you get the phone day one and you go to pull off the screen protector. Oh, shit. That was not the screen protector. But I'm, I have to interject. That is a Samsung Android problem. That is not an Android problem. Fam, you, we talking Android? We talking Samsung? Who we talking? Uh, we talking? We talking Android versus uh, 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 iOS? Sorry. And that is not an Android problem. That is you, a Samsung problem. You and your man Samsung. Sam and his mans got out here selling me Z flips that folds up in the V's. Now I'm confused as fuck, <laughs> bro. Right now when the shit folds up, is thick as fuck. Bro, the battery life is weak as fuck. We got options. Uh, I said, like, I you feel, they, yo, they over here doing shit just to do it. They throwing spaghetti against the wall. We got options. When they should be working on improving things such as. What you, what, hold on, we got options. Not having a green bubble. Show me. <laughs> Isn't that one of the devices? Show me. Uh, 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 what's the other device? Uh, OnePlus. We so, got options. Nobody's buying these things. Uh, it's not for everybody, baby. Yeah. It's not for everybody. So it's, it's only one two thousand to what? How much is that phone? Four five thousand. It's only one five thousand dollar phone, and it ain't an iOS. And it still doesn't have a blue bubble. Yeah. Well, <laughs> son, you it, can't. But it's gold, son. It's gold. Yeah, I'm saying twenty four carat baby Lamborghini inspired. So, last one on the list, and then I'll let y'all have y'all final closing remarks. I guess. Mm-hmm. The longevity of the hardware, ease of use, accessibility, and all that stuff. So let's start on the iOS side. We we might as well skip this because it ain't gonna be even. <laughs> Your Android phone is only as good as the first three months when you bought it. <laughs> because if Samsung gets a hold of your shit with an update, 
<laughs> it's a wrap, fam. <laughs> it's a wrap. You can't send messages. Your shit's rebooting. Son, it's a wrap, son. For you talking about longevity, so you can't put Android in that field. iOS is out here supporting phones that are three or four years old, albeit with some battery issues that they got to pay for. It. Well, it's all good. I'll we, be we got it. money for that. Is it albeit part of a character from Alf, son, from Melneck? If Alf was real, he would have had an iPhone, son. Son, if Alf was real, <laughs> he would have ate the, the iOS phone with the cat. So I'm, I'm trying to tell you, if you're looking, and there's no doubt. Bad, so that's funny as hell. Son. <laughs> there's no doubt. I, I didn't want to spit this water out. Son. If you've seen the iPhone 10. And I, this is a switch that Apple's done since the iPhone 10. Mm-hmm. The yeah, 10 I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting for the iPhone 9. The 10, uh, uh, <laughs> 7, 8, 9, son. It will never be here. <laughs> the 10, what was the one after the 10? The 10S? Uh, was there a 10S? Was I don't it, even or is remember. It X, is it XS? The, no, nah, the 10S. Yeah, yeah, the that's, XS. yeah that's, that's the problem. All the convoluted. Wow, fam. Wow, fam. All wow. The com- wow, real fam. convoluted. <laughs> see, real see, convoluted. See. Wow. <laughs> the iPhone 11, uh-huh. the processors that are in these phones when they're released are wildly overpowered. Mm. And Apple does that for a reason because three or four years down the line, the hardware will still be able to perform based on the requirements of the software. Uh, With Android, it's the other way around. You got a Snapdragon 8 whatever, you can go fuck yourself after update number two comes out. And you may not even, and depending on who you are in the Android world, you may not even know that you're fucking yourself because you just never got an update to the latest version of Android anyway. That's Samsung. That's a Samsung LG Damn. problem. That is not an Android problem. You just mentioned two of the biggest stakeholders in that fuck fest. Okay, yeah, but they're not the best. Who's uh, the best? One can sir? argue. One can argue that the Google Pixel could be if. Son. if if Google don't even know what the Google Pixel is supposed to do. Yeah, but they get the updates and there's no problems. Son. Listen. Son, the Google Pixel is probably the worst fucking Android phone on the market. Yeah, but it takes the best cam it takes the best photos. You want so buy a camera, motherfucker. What, what? Yeah, but I mean, what if my child cannot afford a Sony uh, uh A seven R S plus alpha? Uh, but the Google Pixel is still a thousand dollars. Street Fighter Three Alpha Plus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I, I would listen. I would. I here take this, take this uh, uh device here, and shoot away, Meryl. Swing away. So where where are you on? <laughs> where where are you on the question, sir? Because you see, you see, you're dodging shit. What am I dodging? What's so, the What's the longevity of of Android and the ease of the access and all that? I see you dodging shit, son. Listen, B. Listen, B. I'm listening. Niggas die every day, B. All right, yeah, that's, that's die, my point. Niggas die every that's day, my, B. That's my point. That's niggas my, die every saying? day. Calligraphy L. Niggas die every day, The capital B. joint with the, the, the what, curve. What Cameron say? With, with 50 Cameron, whatever. He die every day, B. Sir, can we wrap Listen, it up? Can we wrap it nah, up, nah, sir? Because I'm done here. Right, I'm, so, get, I'm getting this off, B. Right. Yeah. I'm getting this off. <laughs> I'm curious. Get, proceed. See, you can't just brush over that conversation about uh, uh, devices dying when I already said it. I I answered uh, this question a couple of questions ago. What's going on with the iOS sevens and six and the five? So it's like a it's like an eight year old phone, son. Okay. What do you so want from an eight year old phone? I want my child to be able to use it just like I use my eleven. Fam. First of all, you shouldn't be having children because they're bad for the environment. Yeah, they are. <laughs> but you should number be, one. You should be rocking iPhones. iPhones are bad for the environment. Ah, fam, they last longer, less e-waste. And they're metal and, 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 and shit. Yeah, so at least they're not plastic. You uh, understand? They're glass. Like that Samsung that you so love. Yes, I do. Because that uh, pioneered, it pioneered... A, a, a new into a new... Pioneered us into I a new age. You thought I about your latex phone, sir. Oh, B. No, no, no clap, no gonorrhea over here, with your, my man. With, with your, your pull off back, yo, bro. Expandable memory. Where's you your expandable fight, memory? Anyone that has gotten in a fight with a Samsung phone has lost because they couldn't use it as a weapon. You slap somebody with that plastic, they just gonna look at you like, you know what? 
Now, now I'm gonna really fuck you up. Now. I'm sorry, bro. If you ain't got pause, you shouldn't be using your phone. Your phone is for calling the ambulance or the police, <laughs> <laughs> not for slapping people. And with that said, shout out to the Nokia 3300. Shouts out, <sighs> Android baby. So we biting your ear off. So, <laughs> so Ramon, make the campaign of. Why someone should buy an iPhone? Just to wrap this up, because you ain't got you ain't got to do a bunch of research, man. You, you, yo, everybody out there got it. The shit works. Buy it and rock out. Join society. Be a fucking human being. Okay. And for the Android phone, yo, man, you saw that Samsung commercial? <laughs> if you like long line, long dumb lines, <laughs> and and and, and uh, what's that? Uh, notch notches on your the, the uh, hairline hairline notches <laughs> you go with ios if you want performance Ooh, and God. a camera and all that other good shit come to death row death row <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay all right all right <laughs> i will say that felt pretty filthy <laughs> yeah it was filthy Fucking apple scum. <laughs> <laughs> rebel scum. <laughs> you rebel scum. I feel like the the LD elitists among us will enjoy that. Yo, man. Definitely. Yeah, yo. I'm never doing that again. Fuck that, son. Fuck all of them shits. Where's my Microsoft Windows phone, son? I miss I miss Windows phones. Son, I a I lot. wish I, I I miss I miss Windows, Windows. phone is like Memph Bleak. Jay Z to Mint Bleak, you one hit away. They were yeah. one hit away. I know, and they suffered the same thing that um, BlackBerry did. Yo, fam, yeah. just open the gate for Android. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. I for really, Android to play ball. I really miss Windows. And they phone. did it too late. You get what I'm saying? They did it way too late. Windows Phone is like Pepsi. Yo, it's, stop it's pouring. The, it's the right choice. Stop pouring. Stop pouring. It's stop the right pouring. choice. How much is in? That's all he gets. <laughs> Take that little yeah. smidgen. There you go, Take man. Take that little smidgen, my <laughs> man. <laughs> We're not even sponsored by Pepsi, but you're not going to insult Pepsi like that. No. <laughs> Take that, take that, take that squirrel sip. Oh, I ain't mad at it. I'm not take mad at sip, it. Take sip, sir. I'm not mad take at it, sir. Yo, let me pour, let me pour this healthy. <sighs> no, I'm good. I'm good. I just want to wet my throat. <laughs> oh man, wet your throat with that. That what is that Tahitian treat? Wet your throat with that. Y'all know what a Tahitian treat? That's no? that's Negro soda. Negro soda. <laughs> Where they sell that? At shop, they sell right? it in the hood, son. I've never seen it. With the with the what's that other soda he wants? The Coco, Coco, Rico. Rico. Coco Rico. Negro no. soda. Coconut son. soda. How hey, does Coco, one not? If anyone has connection or tweet that will get some standard, yo, shout out to Coco Rico. We need some Coco Rico for our boy Ramon. So American he needs that. Working. He, he works hard out here. And because of his lifestyle and where he lives, he can't get Coco Rico. Like, yeah, son, like, he can. It's, it's literally I like, can. no, you can't. He has to call me. Yeah, it's definitely. He has to song. call me, and I have to transport. Like, if I get pulled over for the cops, son, I'm going home forever, Fab. <laughs> for all the Coco Rico, I gotta, <laughs> Hold I gotta up. transport to him. But so. I live five minutes away from him. What made you? Th- what made him think that you could find Coco Rico over here? Because it was a shot. I was just throwing it. Yeah, and, I was I'm, just... and I'm usually his pusher. Son, this is an Asian community. But I'm usually I am pusher. the minority out here. But I'm Sorry. usually his pusher. I like, just want America to elevate like, themselves. Man, I work in the city, and I had Coco Rico next door to me. I was very upset at that. Actually. And he was pissed. I was very upset at that. <laughs> he was pissed. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad business, oh, especially man. out there. Oh, listen, man. Let's. Th- I, I want you guys. I want hit the comments. Yes, well, please. I mean, well, you know, the podcast. For, for those of you who listen to the podcast, look in the notes and you'll find uh, links to where to find us. Yes, yes, yes. There's our, our Twitter, our Instagram. Our and, and reach out and let me know what you think about the debate. For sure. Hit us up. Let us know. The presidential debate 2020. Yeah, man. Uh, I can't fuck with Bernie and his uh, iOS. One thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, right? Before we sign, sign off. Yeah. If you hear this and you heard the beginning... I know the trend is over, but I still want to know. Tweet us with your seven albums. Seven albums that, to get to know you. For sure. Tweet us that. Or comment. Wherever you can comment at or get at us, touch, mm. reach out to us, send that. I want to know. Good shit. My name is Ramon. It's the Kick God Kid. Your boy Snap. We out. Peace. Peace.